Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and at the time of recording, E3 is just but a month away, and so you know what that means. It's time for the predictions video about what Nintendo's going to be doing at E3, what they're going to be showing, maybe a little bit of what they're not going to be showing. Uh, you know, it's the predictions video that holds absolutely no water. Unlike myself. It's also a term for not weeing, isn't it? So yeah, this is going to be fairly relaxed, straightforward. It's unscripted. I've got some notes because otherwise I'd forget everything. And we're just going to go with it. It's going to be a bit rambly. There's not an awful lot that I can put over the top of my face. So this is what you're going to be looking at. Sorry. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling. Let's dive right into things. Okay, so first of all, I want to preface this by saying that Nintendo have confirmed that their E3 presentation is all going to be about 2018 games. However, I do think there's probably going to be a little bit of wiggle room in there as well, because they said the same thing about their previous 2017 one, and there were quite a few games for 2018. Although I think they did say it was primarily focused on games coming out in 2017. As such, I want to open this by saying I believe they're going to be featuring Metroid Prime 4, but it's not going to be coming out in 2018. I could very easily be wrong, it could be coming out in 2018, but to be honest, we don't know how long it's been in development. Last year we didn't get anything beyond just a title, not even a title screen, just Metroid Prime 4 is in development. Didn't even look like there was a final logo or even a temporary logo although that was a temporary logo. So I don't think it's been in development too long. We do know for a fact that this is not Retro Studios working on it. So this it's not like they've been working on it for years and years behind the scenes. At least we know that Retro haven't. And I don't know, just because we've seen absolutely so little, almost absolutely nothing of it, I'm just not convinced it's coming in 2018. However, I do think we're going to get some sort of little teaser, just something to remind us that yes, Metroid Prime 4 is definitely a thing, and it is definitely happening, and it is definitely coming to the Switch, and it's hopefully going to be bloody lovely. I also think we're going to be seeing something about continued support for Splatoon 2, because I really do think the Switch, and therefore, you know, Splatoon 2, and pretty much every game that Nintendo have produced, has completely overwhelmed them, and, you know, gone far beyond their expectations, and I think it's a little bit bit too soon to say that Splatoon 2 is going to end support. I think there's so much more that they could add to the game, you know, in terms of weapons and stages and stuff like that. There's loads more they can do, and so I think they're just going to say, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have another year, or even just six months, you know, something. But, you know, I think there's going to be more support. They did that with the original Splatoon as well, so yeah continued support for Splatoon 2. I'm also pretty confident there's going to be quite a lot of guff about Mario Tennis Aces because it's coming out in a month and a bit or something or you know towards the end of June or is it the end of July? I can't remember. Whenever it is it's coming out soon and Nintendo always likes to shine a big spotlight on it and I don't know I've, I've got the feeling that Nintendo really are trying to push this and I don't know if it's because it's the only non-port they've got coming out for some time. Smash Bros, obviously, I mean, they've got the Invitational there, so they've got to have something to do with Smash Bros, otherwise there's just going to be a load of new stuff revealed without being revealed. It, it just can't work. They've got the Invitational there, they're going to gonna have people actually playing it, therefore they're going to have to have loads of new information about it, or at least a bit. I mean, it may well be that they're going to be playing on a demo version, you know, a sort of a specific build for events that doesn't have all the characters, and all the stages, you know, just a small selection. We'll just have to wait and see, but Smash Bros. is definitely going to be there. You can put money on that sucker. Another game they simply have to talk about is Fire Emblem Switch, because we haven't heard anything about it since its reveal, which was... What was it, early 2017? Something like that? I've lost track. All the, all the directs sort of merged together after a while. And there's been several directs since then, and every single time I think, okay, surely they must now be talking about Fire Emblem Switch and they never do. Would be nice if it came out in 2018, but again, we know absolutely nothing about Fire Emblem Switch except it's happening, so it could be any time. I'd really like to think that we'll also finally get to see Retro Studios' mystery project. They've been working on it for years since uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, the original one on the Wii U, and uh, we found out recently that they did actually do the uh, Tropical Freeze port to the Switch, so that was retro, so they took a bit of time off for that, but even so, they've been working on this mystery game for ages now, and it's all about barbecue. Or at least that's what their Twitter says. Earlier today, a rumor did surface saying that it's going to be Star Fox Grand Prix, but I don't know, I'm not convinced. And I don't know, it's just, it's just a groundless rumor. There's no information beyond the title and a vague description. And then somebody did a picture of the title. 
just on a piece of paper. It's, it's, it's not much. Fortnite on Switch. Yeah, I think it's pretty likely, to be honest. I've already done a video all about it, chatting about whether it could come. Well, well it probably is, to be honest. Whether it's going to be E3, we don't know for certain, but I'm pretty confident it probably is going to be E3. I, I mean, we don't know. This is, the, this is the whole point of doing a predictions video. It, it means you can say things without having to back it up with evidence. It just seems like a very obvious and easy win for Nintendo and for Epic Games, so I'd be amazed if they didn't bring it eventually. Whether it's going to happen at E3, I don't really know, but I'd be surprised if it didn't, to be honest. I, it may not even be a Nintendo's particular announcement thing, the actual Spotlight video, but it, it's probably going to happen. Maybe Epic Games will do it themselves. Who knows? The uh, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Yeah, I can I can say with real confidence that we're going to be seeing this at E3. I, I, I put at least part of my reputation on it. We've had the rumors circulating about it even happening, and then it did. And they all said that it was coming to the Switch, and then it wasn't announced for the Switch. And then Nintendo UK accidentally had a page for it coming to the Switch, so... Yeah, I think it's pretty It's pretty certain that it's coming. Maybe there's going to be a Spyro reveal for E3 as well. Uh, sorry for Smash. I'm, my brain's all over the place. Loads of people are saying that as well, but uh, I'm, I'm not so sure, to be honest. And people are saying Crash Bandicoot and Switch as well. It could, obviously, it could happen because at the end of the day, this is Smash. And right now, after Cloud and Solid Snake and... Ryu, anything could happen. But the Spyro Reignited trilogy, that is definitely going to be there. I said so. The World Ends With You final remix. Yeah, I think we're just going to be getting some more info on this because it was announced a while ago and we haven't heard anything since. So yeah, it's just, you know, going to pop up and just say, yes, it's coming at this time and it's going to be brilliant. I've been waiting to play this game for a very long time when it originally came out on the DS. Never actually played it, but saw about it talked about in magazines and things. And yeah, yeah, it looks great. I want to play it, so yeah. Rollercoaster Tycoon as well, coming to the Switch. Yes, I'm pretty sure we already know it's going to be there, because it's a third-party thing. Whether Nintendo actually show it off, or whether it's just going to be something that's just there that you can play, third-party and all that. I, d I don't know, but you know, it's, it's going to be there in some regard, but it might not actually be in Nintendo's presentation. We'll just have to see. The Untitled Yoshi game as well, I also think is a dead cert, because we've seen loads of footage of it already, and it's just a matter of actually getting it out. They said it's coming out in 2018. They've said that it's, this E3 presentation is all going to be about 2018, so... I imagine we're also going to get Xenoblade Chronicles 2 story DLC stuff revealed even though we already know about it because there was a leak recently. Somebody data mined and found all the information about it. And so, yeah, I imagine even though we kind of already know, or at least some people do, they're still going to have to announce it. And I imagine E3 is a good time. They don't have to say too much about it because it's only DLC. So it's only going to be a couple of minutes and just knock it out the door. And yeah, easy peasy. This is a little bit less likely, but I'd really love to see some Bayonetta 3 because we've had one and two on the Switch now for... A while-ish, not, not not that long, but long enough. I'm really interested to see what direction they're going to be taking Bayonetta 3, and E3 seems like a good time. This is, this is what it comes down to a lot, because it's E3. Lots of stuff gets announced. That's the reasoning for a lot of this. We might also get some new Labo stuff, you know, some of these sets that we haven't uh, actually had announced yet, but we have seen in the original reveal trailer and stuff like that. But, you know, at the same time, E3 is very much more of a sort of a, a hardcore sort of experience. It's generally for the, uh, the hardcore gaming market rather than the, uh, the casual side of things. Doesn't mean we haven't seen some very casual games come out of it, of course. So it's entirely possible, but I don't know, a bit less likely. Pokemon Switch. You know, I don't think we're actually going to see this. I, I, I don't. It sounds mad, but I don't think we're going to see it. It's not like the Pokemon Company have never used Nintendo Spotlight to reveal things, but at the same time, they kind of like doing their own thing. They have their own reveals, they have their own videos that are kind of like mini Nintendo Directs, and sometimes they have Nintendo Directs that are just Pokemon. I, I don't know, they generally seem to sort of save that for other sort of reveal times, it seems to be. They like to do it in Japan first as well. I don't know, I just, I just don't sort of feel like we're going to see anything about it, which is going to be a real shame because I'm really excited for it, but I don't know, I just get the feeling that we're not going to see it. Last couple of items now, one of them which I think is going to be an Ubisoft thing and not actually Nintendo, but it's still going to be on Switch and everything like that, is Beyond Good and Evil 2. Which we've known about, blah, 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 which we've known about for a while, but we haven't actually seen anything about it for. Well, we haven't seen anything about it. I think I think they confirmed that it's happening, and I think maybe we saw some concept art, but that's it. 
Wasn't there a trailer, but it, like, showed nothing? Hmm. Basically, it's been bloody ages, and I think it's about time we saw something about it. And again, E3's as good a time as any. This one's significantly less likely, but I'd really love for it to be true. Ever Oasis HD on Switch, because that game is wonderful. I've not played it nearly enough because it's on the 3DS, and I just, I just can't... I just can't bring myself to play the 3DS for long periods of time after playing the Switch. It's just too cramped, it's just too small for my hands. Even if it's just exactly the same as the 3DS one but upscaled to HD, just... Yeah, just just give it to me, I just, I just want it so badly. And lastly, Animal Crossing Switch. Yeah, I, I know, it's a, it's a less likely one, but I just want it so badly. And I think maybe if I predict that it's gonna happen, maybe it will, so um... Keep, keep saying it in the comments. Maybe Nintendo will listen. It's not going to happen, but I hope it does. Oh, that was a bit of a marathon. I'm not my usual perky self for some reason. That's really taken it out of me for some reason. But of course, let me know what you think is going to be happening at E3 by leaving a comment in the comments down below in the comments area where the comments are. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you chat about that subscribe button on fairly groundless means until your mouth goes dry and your brain starts to shut off. And be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>